Okay, everyone, just going to show you how I bevel the the root of the, the stab halves. So I use this steel plate. It's about a 1.5 mil thick. And it's magnetic. It's a plate that I can put these big magnets on. So that allows me to position uh, a part that I want to cut a bevel onto on the plate. And I've got some lines here to help me line everything up and square it. Move the magnets out of the way for the time being. So I line up on that and I can check it by pushing a magnet up against the, the edge of my board here. And just making sure that the part is square against those. So it's part is square against the edge of the board, lined up on my line. And then I can put some magnets up against the edge of the part. And shift it back about a millimeter. And then just put a few magnets. Whoops, that actually moved it. So that's not good. Okay, I'll put one at the, it's the magnets at the end to prevent it from being pushed this way. Okay, so now it's firmly held on the board. And I'm going to actually push it in a little bit because I want a little bit of an, an over a little bit of uh, steel poking through here because there's a an, an overlap with my sanding tool. So here's the sanding tool. You can see that it's got a 40 degree overhang. It's got a little lip here, which is what runs against the edge of the steel. So when that lip hits the edge of the steel, the sandpaper will take off the last bit of balsa and then it won't be able to move in anymore. And so it, it will have cut the edge of the balsa to that angle. So I can just start here now and I just, by the way, I've got uh, on the bottom of this part, because it's got all these slots in it, and I don't want to break any of these fragile interse your <clears throat> pieces in between the slots. It's got uh, masking tape on the back. Same on this piece. So now I can just gently run this back and forth. Just pressing down to make sure everything sticks to the tape. And I just run this back and forth now until it comes into contact with the, until the edge of the, 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 the tool comes in contact with the steel plate. The sanding will basically stop happening and the angle will be set. It's a really great tool for anything where you've got to sand a bevel onto balsa wood. There you go, that's it. Not sanding anymore. And you can see the part with its angle. And so I can use a brush to brush out the balsa dust on the part, put that in the trash, see there you go, you got a nice angle, and that will allow me to go to the next step which is inserting all the components for my hinged stab. So that's what will come next, but uh, we'll leave this video at this point. Thanks for watching.